a Facebook Live. And hello, YouTubers. It's KIM and ATL. Kim out of Atlanta of betterbodycrew.com and guys um i just wanted to talk to you guys because every now and then something happens that sparks my brain and i say maybe i should share it with um uh, my friends and basically you guys know it's coming right now it's what april 21st right 2017 we're coming toward the end of the school year a lot of parents are super happy especially um teachers hey candy me and um guys i recently had my son bring home his progress report it was actually a, a like week or two i don't know time flies so i'm looking at his progress report it was left on the counter for me and he's like mommy you know you look it over i said okay fine he has all a's and then he has b a b in something right so i look at the um progress report and i look up and he's like i know i know and i said you know what and he's like i know i gotta be i gotta do better i gotta bring my b up i said what and he was like I got a B. I got to bring my B up. Now, my son is seven years old in the first grade, mind you. Okay? And many of you have seen my son is, my son in videos. Super smart. Um, just a character, personality, you know, on fleek, right? But he said, I know I got to bring my that B up. And it just really upset me. Not because he had a B, but because I was like, dog, what did I do wrong as a parent for my son to be focused more on the B that he thinks he needs to bring up then all of the a's that he got so i was like i gotta fix this and so i'm looking at the progress report and i said you got a b i said i didn't even notice you got to be i didn't even see that you got to be i was like who's looking at the b when they have when there's all these a's here and he was like really and i was like of course and guys we do this to our kids i used to be in higher education in case you didn't know and i remember like the whole when I was younger, the whole thing was get straight A's, get straight A's, get straight A's too. And that's a lot of pressure on kids, especially when a lot of times people were telling you to get straight A's so you could get a scholarship, so you could go to college, so you could have a quote unquote good job, which we know that a lot of those quote unquote good jobs don't even exist anymore. Even if you have the good job with the good pay, they're taking a good bit of your time. And there are so many people in those quote unquote good jobs that are extremely unhappy, very unfulfilled. I was just listening to a man who was talking about how a chiropractor was working such long hours and he was never spending time with his family. And his overhead was so high for his private practice that he just said, you know, the devil with all that, all this. And he opened up a hot dog cart. And within a few months, like less than a year, he had 33 carts and was making a strong six figures with hot dog carts. And by that time, he had worked himself out of a job because he was just managing hot dog carts. So here is my point, guys. As we come to the end of this year with your kids, if they have a progress report, a report card, please, please, please focus more on what they are learning versus more than what they're piece of paper says they know because let me tell you something guys a lot of time knowing is the enemy of growing it is i see this so so often in the, in adults and especially in what i do as a profession you'll tell somebody something and they'll be like oh i know that i i, I know i know i know and you're like well, okay you know really you know but do your results show what it is you say you know see that's the key don't tell me what you know Tell me that your results show what it is you say you know. And in higher education, I got that all the time. I had a bunch of, I, I, I came across so many smart dummies, it wasn't even funny. And I'm not even talking about the kids. I'm talking about the administrators too. They would be like, I have 20 years experience, 30 years experience in higher education. I'd be like, but well, ma'am, when's the last time you were in the classroom? Because you are so out of touch with today's kids that every single rule and regulation that you're putting down is basically serving as an impetus, as a I mean, I mean, a barrier versus an impetus to for them to learn. It's horrible. And so here is my point. Don't be hard on your kids. Focus more on their learning versus their grades. Okay, because at the end of the day, I'm telling you right now, I know so many smart kids and they have no social skills and they're going to be at a huge disadvantage when they get into the real world. Because in this world, people do business and people hire people that they know like and trust and if your child does not have that like ability factor if you don't start working with them on how to articulate themselves on how to really really listen to people on how to do some things that no teacher can ever teach them no subject is ever going to go over then your child is going to be way behind 
with all their straight A's. And on top of that, I think it's so funny to me, I must throw this in there, that we are a lot of people I see emphasize to their kids, get good grades, and they hold these kids to these metrics that, you know, supposedly tells them whether they're doing a good job or not. How would you feel? And a mentor of mine asked me this, and it really stuck with me. It struck me to my core. And he was like, hello, what's going on, Darren? Hey, Priscilla, YouTubers, this originally was a Facebook Live. So when you see me shouting out people, that's what I'm doing, shouting out people from the Facebook Live. So don't think I'm crazy. Be like, who is she talking to? <laughs> anyway, guys, a mentor asked me, or he um, posed the question. He was like, what if your children gave you a report card for being a parent? And what if on that report card, it didn't say things like, you know, paying the bills, providing a roof over my head, loving me. But what if it said, you know, basically like being a good example of what it is you say. Because all the time we tell our kids stuff and, and it's not, we're not living what we're speaking. So we say, oh honey, you can do anything. You can be anything. If you just work hard, you'll have a good life. But every single day they watch us working hard hard long hours and then we come home and we still don't have money to buy them everything that they need and want or we're doing go fund me for them to do the most basic of things i don't want to be a go fund me family let me tell you what go fund me is supposed to do, be for it is supposed to be for you to help your child or someone in your family um do something to catapult them to the next level so that they can serve on a broader level. So, like, I know people that have done a GoFundMe so that they can go to Africa and serve in Africa and help the kids in Africa. Like, it is a project. My mom did a GoFundMe because, and also a, Go, a GoFundMe should be when you already have a certain level of, of influence and you know that people want to donate to you, they just need to know where the link is. So, my mom did a GoFundMe last year because she has uh, fans, she has listeners, she has um, people that routinely follow her all around. Hey, Jacqueline Lopez, come on, South Chiquita. She has people that follow her all around. And when they heard that her next CD project entitled Change was going to launch, they said, hey, Kim, I want to be a part of it. Because she, there was a whole mission behind that. A GoFundMe is not supposed to be so that you, you as a parent, don't have to grow and take your income to the next level. A GoFundMe should not, and I'm not, and if you do a GoFundMe and you want to be offended, then be offended. But I'm going to tell you right now, if my son needs braces, I'm not trying to just have a GoFundMe and get all my friends to donate because my income doesn't meet my needs. And I'm not willing to go out there and stretch my income. Because the whole thing that's so funny about this whole report card thing, like I said, your kids get a report card for how they do in school. But if you got a report card from your kids for how you do as a parent, what would it say? Do you, do you really live what it is you're telling your children? Are you giving them a good example that if they, we shouldn't be telling them to go out there and work hard. We should be telling them to go out there and work smart. We shouldn't be telling them to make money. We should be telling them to make money multiply. And the best way to tell them is to show them. Are you a living example of what it is that you're saying to your children? Are you showing them every single day that, hey, I got you? Or does your salary determine what you get for them? And outside of that, you have a GoFundMe, and then what, you know, if you don't get enough money in the GoFundMe, then little Timmy can't play, I don't know, baseball, or softball, or can't get braces. How is it that, it, and I'm not trying to knock people, but I, it really, really, like I said, I used to be in education, and I would watch parents just basically say things that they've heard over and over and over again, um, as it relates to their children getting good grades, just to go into higher education just to go into debt just to graduate and 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 some of those parents were in the same exact like how can you tell your kid go to college so you can get a good job and you went to college and you're six figures in debt and you're working 18 hours and you don't have any money for your own child's co college fund but you're telling them to go to college so they can have a good life and when we do these things just off of rote memory just because we've heard it over and over again we no longer even think about what we're saying we just say it because it's all we know but if that is all you know, it is your responsibility to grow past that. When it no longer makes sense, it's your responsibility to grow. That means you can't watch Empire. You can't watch Power. You can't watch anything on TV until you figure out why it is that you're working so hard and you still can't afford not only the basics, I mean not only the wants, but the, the basics for your child. If that is your situation, then you have an obligation to your child to go out there and be the best you can be and figure it out. Keep going through uh, solutions. Keep going through businesses. Keep going through whatever it is your mind brings to you until you find the answer. How long is it going to take? I don't know. It depends on you.
But if you develop this model, I will until then you won't worry about how long it takes. Because however long it takes, it will be worth it. We need to stop encouraging our children to focus on what is wrong. Your child home brings home a report card. Everything's not straight A's. Don't tell them, you need to bring this B up. You need to bring this C up. The money, you get rich in your niche. The money is in specializations. When you go to a doctor right now, if you go to a podiatrist, you want him to work on his feet, on your feet. You don't need to tell him, hey, you need to study the brain so that you can work on my brain too. That's dumb, right? You need to strengthen your strengths and find someone else to compensate for your weaknesses. There's power in collaboration where two or more are, ga are gathered. There is power, and that's how it's really supposed to be. Tell you, I'm not worried. I don't even remember what subject my son got to be in. I, I'm not concerned with it. That's not his strength. That's not his strength. He's not going to be strong in everything. What I want him to do as, as he's coming up, I want him to focus on what he's strong in, celebrate that, and strengthen his strengths. You don't see Venus and Serena Williams out there trying to make it in the women's NBA league. For what? They play tennis. That's what they do. That's why they're paid the big bucks. So, what I'm going to tell my son is to strengthen his strengths, his weaknesses. I, of course, I don't want them to get weaker. But later on in life, what you're going to do with your weaknesses, you're going to delegate them out. My son is going to have a business. I know this to be true because I, I see how he moves. I see how he likes to ha have money, count money. Okay, he's going to have a business. And where he is weak in the areas of his business, he will delegate. Because if you don't delegate, you're going to stagnate. And that's what successful people do. They strengthen their strengths and they delegate out their weaknesses. So, guys, that is what I just wanted to tell you. As we close the school year and your kids bring home your report card, do not be so hard on them. Focus on what they're good at. Do not make them feel bad, negative, or in any way, shape, or form for what they are not good at. Because trust me, it's some things you could tighten up on too as a parent. And you need to be thinking about that if you're not in a position right now where you're fully, fully, fully providing everything that your children need, want, and, and, and all that. Everything in between. That includes not just money, but also time. If you're like, I'm a good parent. Uh, uh, Bobby got 67 pairs of sneakers. So what? When's the last time you spent 67 hours with him? Or well, 67 minutes. How about that? So, guys, I'm constantly thinking. I'm, I'm much less concerned with my son's school report card and much more concerned with the report card or the tally or the message that I'm sending to him and his brain. What kind of grade would he give me right now? as a parent as it relates to different subjects like am i living when i'm speaking to him am i a good example of the life that i say i want him to have and things of that nature so just wanted to share that with you all if you hey LaDonda, hey priscilla if you like this broadcast definitely let me know i love it when you guys leave comments in case you can't tell i always come back and comment on your comments um subscribe to my channel if you're watching this on youtube and i'll see you in the next video all right all right bye